Okay, we're going to paint these orchids. I'm using mixes of white plus dioxamine purple and white plus ultramarine blue. And the flowers are on stalks above the foliage, so I'm going to paint the flowers in first. Block them in, then I'll do the foliage. It's kind of like the delphiniums, they were up above the foliage, so I went ahead and did the flowers in first. So I'm going to paint the darker colors first, shadows. And then I'll come back in and, and highlight with the lights. Again, this is my white plus dioxanine purple. You can't see them real well because, again, I'm painting the shadow. Once I get the, the lighter color on there, then you'll be able to see it. And I actually need to make my shadows a little bit darker. White objects actually have a fairly dark shadow, and that's true with white flowers. This, this, is a, this painting is a surprise, and it's been fun because the wedding was in California, and we're all in Texas, and this is, so we didn't get to see the wedding in person. We saw a video of it, a YouTube feed, which was not very clear. So asking questions, we've had to ask questions like about the flowers and that kind of thing in a way that we didn't give away what the intent was. So it's really been a challenge, a fun challenge. And so that's why I was saying in my previous video that I didn't really know exactly what color the delphiniums were. What I knew they were blue, but I didn't know how light or dark or whatever. So but I imagine since we've got delphiniums in here, this the couple will be very, very excited. Now that's one grouping of the orchids. We're going to have another grouping coming down that pops down this way. In fact, on finding out about the flowers that were in Carissa's bouquet, as we were watching the video during the, the of the wedding, and it was a live feed, we were you know how women are. We were all discussing about well, I wonder what her flowers are. We couldn't really tell and, and whatever. So finally, just had to ask the groom later, you know, what, what flowers were in Carissa's bouquet. Well, he didn't know. And it was just, that, you know, that all the ladies, we were all visiting and, and wondering, and just wondered what, what flowers were in Carissa's bouquet. So he, fortunately, he just forwarded, he said, I'll just forward this to Carissa. He said, I know that they were absolutely gorgeous. He said, I don't know what they were. So then she answered and just gave us a, told us what flowers were in the bouquet. So that's why I'm not, I don't have pictures, so it's, it's fun. But I know whatever we do here is, is going to be perfect. I'm letting the leaves of the, the leaves of the orchid are Phthalo blue plus cadmium yellow medium. It makes a nice, rich, warm yellow. And then for the lighter part, I've actually added some white into that. I'm probably putting a few more leaves on here than I'm giving this orchid quite a bit of foliage. Normally, they don't have quite this much. But that's the fun thing about painting. We can make the world and flowers and everything exactly like we want them to be. Now I'm going to take some of my pot color, which is ultramarine blue plus white, 
and come up in here and then fill in. Come, this pot's going to be taller. I just want to cover over these areas here. That just makes a nice ceramic that ceramic blue container here. I'll highlight this edge just a little bit. Have a little I'm going to bring this leaf out just a little beyond there. I'm going to let a little poppy, I still have my poppy color, so I'm going to just drop one down here and it will help give definition to that leaf. This red poppy will just go back in there. Now let's define those flowers, give them, do the highlights on them. And I'm using a mixture of my just my pure white. No mixing, no mixing required. This is just my pure white. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to put the put the stems in here. This one's going to come down. I have to mix a little white into this, make it a little bit lighter. I can just brace on the canvas. And this stem is going to come down like so. There will be a few little buds on it. And then this one comes over. And hides back in here. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of darker here so we can see it against that wall in the background. So this stem will come down like so. I'm going to make that pretty dark so you can see it in here. And then this stem I'm going to show as it comes up here and bends over. So they're both coming out about the same spot out of that base of leaves. I'm just adding some brown to it just to, so it shows a little bit more. Now this is one of those exceptions to the rule I was telling you earlier about how I had seven delphiniums and, and using odd numbers. Here I'm just using two, two clumps of orchids because they're going to, going to fill in this area really nicely. And I'm going to show this stem. I'm going to change this. I'm going to bring this one down here. I think this will make it a little more graceful. There we go. And in orchids a lot of times, I think I'm going to do this. In orchids a lot of times they have just kind of little fun little squiggly branches and stuff. That's what we're going to do here. Just bring some of those here. It just gives a nice feel to this. Now I'm going to add the highlights on our flowers. And this again is my pure white. Now those are starting to pop out. Now 
Now these over here are just, this front part's going to catch the light. In fact, I want to make this one kind of come back into shadow just a little bit because we have the Bogan V is casting a shadow down. So that, that one, that back flower will be more in shadow. This has some buds here. And then this, this guy comes forward. And then we're going to start going back into that shadow so these won't be as, as bright. lighter petal right here. This is going to be... There we go. Now there's kind of little centers in these. I'm using a mixture of magenta plus liquid. And again, these are pretty tiny so I'm not going to do a lot of detail, but this just gives that little center. With the feeling of these. These orchids. They're such a pretty flower. The nice thing about them is when you get them, they they last a while. They're always fun to, it's always fun to have fresh flowers. Yeah, let me get my little buds here. This one's just starting to open. And then these will be more in the bud stage. So they'll just be round. Now I'm going to come back and make this delphinium come up just a little bit higher so that we can see him. Sometimes a lot of what you do in a painting you have to go back and, and kind of re, rework here and there. I'll add my little little darker back here so it just accentuates the, the orchid and now on the delphinium again I'm going to just make these little the little buds come up and now I need to let's see this stem needs to be highlighted now. So we see that baby. Make this one a little bit lighter. And there's our orchids. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and also visit my blog. The link is in the description below. I also have the address on the final frame of the video. I also have the address for my website. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you again.